been a while. How's everybody doing? I hope everyone's doing well. It is Saturday morning and I am on my way for a full day of outing today. I have um, a nail appointment. I need to go to multiple stores. I am um, I'm going to be well I am helping my niece with um, a baby shower next weekend and so um, I have to get some things for that I need to do some errands for myself so I will be taking you guys along and with as much as I can So, let's see, what has been going on with me? Not a whole hell of a lot. I am planning um, to move uh, shortly. I have to find a place and as I go through that process, I will document it for you guys to share with you sure yet where I'm going to be moving to. If I'm going to stay in this area or closer to my brothers or um, whether or not I'm moving alone, I'm not positive yet. But I am leaving my son's home and moving into my either my own place or a place with my youngest brother or I may have to take in my sister. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, so I have a lot coming up in the next several months. Um, it may be before Christmas and it may be after Christmas. But somewhere along those lines is what I'm looking into. When I came here, I basically gave away everything brought them with me, but since then I have given them away. So I basically have to replace just about everything, just except for a bed of course, but so I have a lot to do in the months coming up. I don't know if I want the stress of moving in around Christmas time or not. Those are the things coming up for me. Um, my brother that had the surgery is still struggling. And I think it has a lot to do with his mental state. I've had to have many, many, many conversations with him about keeping his spirits up and getting up and doing what he needs to get done in order to heal but sometimes that doesn't always work you know so yeah but yeah guys so I will get back with y'all after um, I get out of the nail shop you are already used to my route so I don't need to share that with you so I will talk to you guys in a little bit know if that was recording or if I forgot to hit the record button or if I hit the record button and then turned it off by mistake but I was saying that I um I'm in the neighborhood I used to live in 15 years ago and there's uh, a lot of the stores still exist even though they're like not major brand stores. Yeah, my son was a freshman in high school. But yeah, so then my sandwich looked great. Oh, so delicious, but it's a little hot.
Anyway. I don't know. I showed you my nails, but there they are. And, um, and I said I stopped at Jack and I got a a value fry, which is basically a small fry. Very small fry. Uh, sausage and egg biscuit, no cheese. And a small caramel coffee. We're in the parking lot where they're recycling. So people are stopping by bringing all their bottles and stuff. Which is what my son needs to be doing. He has a lot of stuff. He probably needs. Like the lady in front of me that has. 10 gallon. Or what is it? Is it 10 gallons? Trash bags. Hmm. I thought I was in the shade. And in actuality, the sun is beating on my legs. Hmm. So yeah, I'm in the parking lot that also has a Dollar Tree. And then down the street, there's a beauty supply. And then across from across the street from that is a 99 cent store, a huge 99 cent store. I think I showed you guys that in one of my vlogs when I came on vacation. The location that they're in is used to be a LA Fitness. And then they moved down the street a little bit in a bigger facility. So, yeah, anyway. Unfortunate. But everything is basically in the same area. I cannot believe how fast my niece's baby shower came around. It's one of those things where you think <laughs> you've got a lot of time. And before you know it, the time has snuck up on you. And that's basically what's happened. So I'm in charge of the decorations. Um, <clears throat> utensils and stuff like that so I got a lot to do it's already 11.30 I don't have a whole look at the time good thing is starting on this end I work my way up there's many locations of 99 cents and dollar stores to go look so if they don't have something I can go to the other one but I'm truly hoping that 
that big 99 cent store is where I'm going to find a lot of the things I'm looking for. And I still have to go to Walmart. However, Walmart does not have to be a priority today. Oh, darn it, I'm getting full. So, This is really delicious. And I really, really was hungry. Because I don't normally finish a whole one and I'm almost done. I have gained about seven pounds since I've moved back. Mostly. because I um, eat so late. And I stay up so late. Mm -hmm. And I know I'm not really hungry when I eat most of the time. Thank y'all for keeping me company while I stuff my face. <laughs> I'll check in with y'all again as soon as I um, get to my next destination. I'm going to try to vlog in stores but if I don't, then I'll show y'all what I got when I get back to the car. Talk to y'all in a second. Mm, bye. Okay, let's start this again. It appears I didn't turn the thing to record. I hate when I'm talking away and nothing happens. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, I purchased the olive oil ores edge control, and this was $4.99. And I also got the cream of nature perfect edges for $5.29. I don't know which one of these are better, but I'm gonna try them both. I purchased a hair color. I thought I'd darken my hair a little bit, try to cover up some of these uh, grays in my hair. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it, but I got it anyway. And it's by Dark and Lovely. And it's called Brown Sugar. Excuse me, Brown Sable. And then I got what I came for, which is my hair repair by Aura's Oil. And this was $7.99. I think I get this cheaper on Amazon. So I may have to start purchasing it from them. And then I got 
got a BB cream from Kiss in medium. I was looking for my for the one I had, but um, apparently I threw it out when I was moving. And then I bought these little costume jewelry hoops. They were only like a dollar and change, so they're just really costume jewelry. They have some little um, studs, and then they've got the hoops, three of them in different sizes. And that is it. That is all I got from the beauty supply. I know there's something else I was supposed to get, um, but I can't remember. I know I'm not perming my hair anymore. I'm just going to continue to transition to my natural hair texture, so I'm not doing that. Um, I did place an order online for um, some hair pieces. I didn't get the one like this because they didn't have it, but I got some other ones, and I also went ahead and got a, a wig that's going to be about lent to my shoulder. I haven't worn a wig in years, so I don't know if I'm going to like it, but it wasn't expensive, so I'm okay with that. But yeah, so that is all I got from the beauty supply. Now I am heading, um, I don't need to go to the 99 cent store, so I won't be going there since I found everything at Dollar Tree. So I think I'm going to head on home, and then after the sun cools a little bit, then I'll do my... Walmart run. I know there's something else I'm supposed to do. I think I'll, um, I think I put something on my phone, so maybe I'll look, look and see. Because I thought I put down all the things that I needed to do today. I just feel like I'm forgetting something. Here's my to-do list. Beauty Supply, 99 cents, Dollar Tree, and Michaels. Well, I may go into Michaels. I want you to, um, no I won't, because I'll just end up spending money. No I won't. I thought, um, I placed an order for some stickers from Etsy, so, um, I would have gone into Michaels and looked at some of their stickers, but I've already spent my limit on stickers for the next couple of months by placing orders yesterday. So I am not doing that. Um, yeah. So that is it guys until I get home um, and pull out the stuff that are, that are in my trunk and I will show you the things that I got for the baby shower. Talk to y'all in a few. Hi guys, so I thought I'd show you guys what I got from Walmart. Um, I almost forgot <laughs> since I was in the process of trying to um, do my um, preparation for the baby shower, I almost forgot to buy my gifts. So this is the um, stuff that I got for it, my gift to my niece. I got a four-piece Terry Bat set in pink and navy and white. It's a bat towel with a three washcloths. And then I got some short sleeves body suits from Carter's for zero to three months. And I got some beautiful baby bibs. One is two little birds sitting on a perch. One is a cute little fox. And the other one says love. And then these were on sale and I thought they were kind of cute. Um, they sold separately. But you've got the onesies. And there's two of them. One's a little purple and 
looks like a mitten and it also could be a cupcake I'm not sure which and this one is like elephants pink and purple ele purple and white elephants and then the bottoms to it there's a pink one and a purple one those are really cute and then I got two little caps I don't know how these things are on here but with their little mitts for their hands so they don't scratch themselves and then I got some little bows kind of like headbands I guess headbands and then this cute little jammy with I guess it's a jammy. I don't know. It's been a while since I had kids. I didn't have girls, so. But it has a little headband, so I don't know. But it's got the footsie. And it's a little monkey. And this one is in a size zero to three months. I bought mostly zero to three months. I don't know, it's been a while. I don't think, I think they outgrow them really fast, but I also think that, um, you want to have some things for that age group, so um, I don't think her babies are really tiny, but even when they weigh like eight pounds, they still look big to me. So, but that's what I got her, and then I got me some pain patches, and yeah, that's it pain patches and some leave for my. Um, pain that I'm having in my leg and my back and that is it from Walmart guys so um, yeah I will take out these things out of the car and then um, I may not be able to show you guys the um, decorations until the day of but I will certainly do that Okay, guys, so thank you guys for taking the time to view my video. Um, I would truly appreciate it if, they, if you would thumbs up this video, um, leave a comment. I know I have not responded to comments, but I read every single one of them. And also, um, if you would share my videos, I would certainly appreciate it. I am trying to reach a thousand subscribers by the ending of the year I'm hoping to be able to do that so I would really appreciate it if you would share my videos with your friends your family your co-workers thank you guys so much and I will talk to y'all in my next one love y'all bye